What is up guys, Marshall here and welcome to another Inform Analysis. Today we have Arsenal and England playmaker slash CM Jack Wilshire. Now this guy, he's amazing, he's definitely the future of England but he's got to get away from the injuries. The injuries are really hampering his career at this moment. Even right now he is injured. Right, his price on Xbox is 68k, on PS3 it is 65 he's got a free star weak foot alongside a free star skill move set. Now you can see there... His attributes look okay, his shooting's not the best, just at 70, heading's quite poor, his defending's okay at 74, and that's what you really need really for those centre mid spots. I'm going to play him in a cam in this squad builder, so you can link up with the strikers now up front alongside him. We have Giroud, who is an Arsenal teammate, and from France, so alongside him we have another French newcomer to the Premier League in Johan Gufran, who is at Newcastle United. So we'll stick with that kind of theme, Arsenal, England sort of French thing throughout this team. Walcott is on the right hand side, so much pace, it is ridiculous. And on the left hand side, he's not short of pace either, is Matt Jarvis with a 91 pace. Attribute now in DM, we've got the French newcomer to PSG in David Beckham. Got him a DM, he is superb in that role. Passing alone is great for them. You can pick out a striker, you can pick out the wingers running them beyond their markers at fullback. He's just great in that position. We have Gael Glishi at left back behind Matt Jarvis then. In at centre back alongside him, we move to Sacco back at PSG. He links up with David Beckham, and as you've probably seen just alongside him there, we have Yanga M. Biwa, his Montpellier card, because kind of links up with Beckham there. If I had his Newcastle card, he wouldn't have a link. Now at right back, we do move back to Arsenal in the shape of Bakari Sanya. And in goal, we move back to the French League with Cedric Carasu, who is at Bordeaux. So there is the squad. It's a pretty solid team. Jack Wilshire at the heart of it. He should be the main standout. He's the highest rated player. Well, joint with Sagna and Carasu, but doesn't really matter his in-game stats and ball control 90 brilliant dribbling it's not the best in the world but it is great for a center midfielder other stats quite a few stand out and short passing his shot power is okay but nothing kind of just jumps at you and says this is an amazing card his physical attributes sprint speed's not the best 78 79 acceleration whereas his mental attributes isn't the best either so it's not the best stat wise this guy Jack Wilshire probably should be better and that w probably would have been better if he could stay away from injuries. He just has to find a way of avoiding all these injuries. As you see in this first game, his passing is second to none. He can pick out a pass similar to David Beckham anywhere on the pitch. Theo Walcott, this is a lovely goal. Enjoyed this five minutes into the first game. Theo Walcott scores that goal assisted by Jack Wilshire who played a major part. And yet again, Jack Wilshire here, what a ball that is to... Giroud, who somehow misses, I thought I headed it straight past the keeper and put it wide, but I did win a corner from it. In came the cross from Sanya towards Gufran, I couldn't really get there, but then Walcott nabbed on the ball and somehow squeezed it in at the near post, into the roof of the net. Yet another great finish from Theo Walcott. Into the second half, and Jack Wilshire yet again. He put Gufran through. His keeper comes stupidly running out with his lovely play from Gufran. How he hit the post, I'm not even going to mention that because it was just ridiculous. A striker going through on goal with an open net should be able to hit the net nine times out of ten. I just don't know what Gufran was doing there. This time it is Gufran, and he makes no mistake with the header. Jack Wilshire at the heart of the build up. Whipped in by Jarvis and it was Gufran that nodded home. Now Jack Wilshire does finally get on the score sheet with a brilliant, powerful finish from roughly 20 yards out. Great hit. Too hot to handle for the goalkeeper. It was a nice finish from Jack Wilshire. Now this is a penalty. i never seen it in game time, but if you look off the ball, he slides right through my player trying to block and it is a stone wall penalty. I'm always going to put Jack Wilshire on this penalty just to see if he's capable from scoring from 12 yards i'm only going to give jack a 7 out of 10. he is brilliant midfield he'd be good in squad builders for an england 11 or a premier league 11 and that is it for this episode guys i hope you enjoyed it and as ever i'll see you guys next time